How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Bear Reviews. Back with yet another review. Um, season time. Season time in the form of Sierra Nevada's Olivia series. Season. Uh, what's this brewed with? Let's see. Belgian style Abbey Saison brewed with mandarin oranges and peppercorns. Um, I think this might be my second or third. That's three, not that. That um, uh, Olivia review. I think I might have done their straight up double a while ago. I don't know if I got posted. I know I reviewed their <clears throat> their barely double. Not sure if that got posted either. It will eventually. I definitely know I have that one in queue. And uh, never been a big, huge fan of the Olivia series. Nothing has blown me away. Not Nothing offensive, but nothing has really kind of done it for me. But I find myself with another bottle and I am going to review it. As far as what it says on the bottle, it says Sierra Nevada Ovilia. I always say Olivia. I don't know why I say that. This is me being fucking dyslexic. Ovilia. Uh, mon mon monastic Inspiration American Innovation. Belgian style Abbey Saison. Ale brewed with mandarin oranges and peppercorns. Um, in collaboration with Abbey of New Clairvaux. Brewed and bottled by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. <clears throat> An homage to the monk's noble work. This unique farmhouse style ale is incredibly complex with notes of lemon pepper uh straw and herbs balanced on the tang of mandarin oranges and a spicy kick of pepper i love me pepper in my beer so hopefully that's in there uh the mandarin oranges used to make this beer were locally grown including a portion grown on the grounds of the abbey du claro or clavu however you say that um and picked by hand by the community of monks living there we hope you enjoy this collaboration ale Done and done. Really love their labeling. It's 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 quintessential old style Belgian labeling, which you know, by new school brewers. So, you know, see in Nevada classified as new school brewers when you hold them up to again against the uh, the monks and the Trappist beers from Belgium and stuff like that. But you know, they're obviously going to be OG U.S. brewers. Let's see. If we get Not a big pop on that at all. You know, with your um, saisons. Um, You'd expect a little bit of a pop to it. Yeast can be a bit aggressive. Um, you can go from having, you know, a really funky saison kind of yeast, whether it be like a Brett level yeast or something like that, or just a straight up big Trappist kind of yeast. So you usually expect a big pop. Didn't get that. Really nice look to it. More erring on the side of double than your day typical Belgian style saison. Um, you know, what head it did have was about a half a pinky finger barely off white pretty compact bubbles decent creaminess to it but i mean that is pretty damn good looking color wise um i can smell the bells and yeast from here um you're getting a, a orange with a hint of honey kind of color to it subtle carbonation in the middle haze very nice haze to it like very double ipa in color so yeah i mean she looks she doesn't look much like a saison um but uh she uh, looks good, no, no less, so let's get a nose on her. Really good legs, too. Bright um, orange in there, very bright orange. That pepper, I think it's a combination of the yeast you're using. It smells like a just a, um, a, a Belgian-style Saison yeast, nothing too funky, um, like a Brett-level funkiness, but more of like a... I think the pepper's coming from the actual peppercorns, but also coming from the Belgian yeast is what I'm trying to say. I think you're getting a, a little bit of that kind of um, pepperiness, as I just said, from yeast. But that peppercorn just makes it pop a little bit more, a little bit more impactful as just being like a subtle kind of pepperiness. Oranges are big in that. I'm getting a decent amount of lemon out of this, too. But that spiciness, like you're getting a bit of like almost like a, not like a winter spice beer. You get a lot of those uh, typical saison kind of spiciness, but kind of kicked up a notch. You're getting that uh, coriander and that peppercorn in there. You're getting a little bit of almost like a nutmegginess kind of going on in there. A little bit of even maybe even just a touch, touch, touch of like a like a um, uh, all spiciness almost. Yeah, she smells cool. She smells like a, a little bit dialed up saison. Um, ABV on this, 7.5, so it's definitely a bit higher than your classic Saison style, but more in line with your new school Saison 
um, ABVs. So yeah, she looks interesting. She smells spicy. Um, let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. That's good. That's the best Ovilia beer by far I've had. That's really nice. <clears throat> first things first. You get this initial kind of, I don't want to say, no, I'm going to say it. Subtle, subtle kind of tartness you think from that kind of orange fruitiness. Right at the base, but once you start to swallow, then it's kind of the orange kind of opens up and a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more fleshier. Then all about that Belgian spice after that. All the spices start to come through. You starting to get, like I said, coriander is a big one. That black peppercorn just takes it up a notch. Combined, <clears throat> combined with that. Classic Belgian style saison yeast where you're getting a lot of pepperiness, a lot of spices, and then it just makes it go even bigger. I dig it. And there's this really underlying kind of caramel, almost like a double kind of vibe to it. And I think, you know, when you're looking at the color of this, holding up to it, uh, a typical saison, they might be using some kind of, kind of caramel yeast in there. There also could be some age on this sucker. I did not look for date. It's old. That doesn't suck either. Um, 7.5%. This beer is just a hair under two years old. I think that time has served this beer really well. That's where I think a lot of that caramel note is coming from. It's like a toffee kind of caramel note. Um, it's probably darkened in color over that time too and just kind of brought out a little bit more. So freshy might be a, quite a bit different than this, but that age I think has done this beer absolute wonders. Um, and it's something I kind of want to pick up more of, especially at this date. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. It's like if a, it's like if a Saison, a peppercorn field, and a lighter double all kind of had a menage a trois and just popped out a baby. That's kind of what's going on here. I dig it. Really dig it. That to get those kind of caramel toffee notes out of a saison combined with that spiciness that's in, enhanced by those peppercorns and with those orange being in there they're kind of like a like a, a bit player in the whole thing but it just kind of adds a little bit level of <clears throat> bright citrus fruitiness to it that is sweeter but not overly sweet i i dig it and like i said by far the best ovelia beer that i've had or olivia as i would say when i kick off the fucking video like a dum dum um so yeah let's talk about it is it one of the better saisons i've had as of late absolutely yes take that with a grain of salt because of the h um and the fact that it's a little bit outside of your atypical saison classicness with big brewed with the oranges combined with the peppercorns but yeah, it's up there. It's up there in the like top 10 I've had as of late. Probably top 5. It's just that that fun. And me going into excuse me, me going into this thinking that okay, you know, I'm not a big fan of this series. This is why you drink beer. So you have make the assumptions and blown out of the water here. Uh would I buy it again? Absolutely. Um <clears throat> we see this line around quite a bit in this area. Um but it um you don't see it all the time. You see it, it pops in, it pops out. So I don't know if it's a seasonal release from them, but we typically get it in our area. So if you're in the Northeast the United States, um, take that with uh, whatever. Um, price point wise, I wanna say these aren't too bad. Um, Sierra Nevada, when they get into these bigger bottles, whether it be the Avilia series or their barrel aid stuff, typically jumps the shark a little bit when it comes to price point, but I think these come in four packs. Could be wrong, but I think these come in four packs and I think they're less than 20 bucks. So if that's the case, if you're looking at $15, let's say $15, $18 for a four pack of these, it's it's kind of like a pseudo beer. It's one of those really thick kind of glass bottles, 12.7 ounces, the ones you would find like your um, your Lost Abbey track series or their one-off or barrel aid stuff in that kind of, you think it's more beer, but it's not. It's closer to a regular beer than a, than a bomber. 
I don't think that's a really bad price point, especially if you can find this date, right around this date, have it two years on it. It's really good. That caramel that comes through just makes it absolutely pop and just be really good. Um, yeah, and just say if you like what? if you Will you like this? If you like aged beer. If you like Belgian Saisons, if you like doubles and you wish they had a baby and invited some peppercorns at a party, you like this because that's what you're getting from it, and it's pretty damn freaking good. So there you go. Another review in the books. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, comment all that stuff down there. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and tap. Uh, you can check me out in those other places if you'd wish to find us anywhere else on the internet. Yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying as nice a new school season as this one. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers.